Santa Cruz County now. The Nogales Port of Entry has seen higher wait times since the closing of the Lukeville Port. KGUN 9's Blake Phillips spent the day in Nogales and joins us showing us what the increased wait time looks like on a good day. It's been exactly two weeks since the port of entry in Lukeville closed, and today in Nogales, you can see the backup many are facing here. There's cars backed up as far as the eye can see with almost every lane open, and wait times today up to two hours this morning. That's up from the regular one hour that it is right about now. I spoke with the local sheriff, and he says he will not sponsor the National Guard here in Nogales, the local sheriff in Santa Cruz County, that is. And I also spoke with a local business owner who says he's been left in the dark throughout this entire process. Uh, no, we're just taking one thing at a time. You know, every day there's something new. Sal Jetta owns Nogales Tactical. We hope, you know, it's not going to be a, a long-term thing. Hopefully it's just a short-term thing and, you know, things can go back to normal. A pedestrian port of entry that's been closed since September is really hurting local businesses. Well, it paralyzes Morley Avenue, the walkthrough basically. So we have some car uh, traffic, but the walking traffic uh, has been, uh, you know, has been really bad. There's no timeline on when that pedestrian port will reopen. No, we heard a couple of uh, times saying November and then December, uh, and that still hasn't happened. With everything going on at our borders, Governor Katie Hobbs activated the National Guard last week. But Santa Cruz County Sheriff David Hathaway says he has not heard from Hobbs' office. I don't want to militarize the border. He says the Lukeville closure is impacting more than just wait times at the border. So we don't want to do things that's going to impede the flow across the border. Those trucks are backed up with refrigerated vegetables and fruit, and that stuff's going to rot and spoil if they're sitting there in long lines. So we got to let the traffic move. In Nogales, Blake Phillips, KGUN 9.